Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you the electronic and electric ensembles that every technician or student should know. So as you can see here, the first symbol is as you can see a variable resistor. Okay, basically this symbol means variable resistor because we have this arrow here. Okay. Here also we have another symbol for the variable resistor as you can see with this arrow. Basically there is two symbols for resistor. Okay. Basically this is the universal symbol for the resistor and this one is a US resistor. Here this is the symbol for the ceramic capacitor. Okay. This is a ceramic capacitor or PF capacitor. So this kind of capacitor is not polarized. It's not like the electrolytic capacitor. So we called it ceramic capacitor or PF capacitor. PF means picofarad capacitor. As you can see here in the image, this is basically some real ceramic capacitors, as you can see. So this is the phototransistor, as you can see. So this is basically a transistor, but we called it a phototransistor because here the base is receive the light. In its base, it receives the light, not the voltage. Okay, so we called it a phototransistor. Okay, as you can see here, you can find this kind of transistor in some component like optocoupler as you can see okay here we can use as you can see a phototransistor in optocouplers okay this is the opto isolator in this image as you can see so basically the opto isolator always connects between the primary stage and the secondary stage in the switch mode power supply here we have the ground this is basically the analog ground there are many types of ground, like analog ground, digital ground, and chassis ground. So this kind of ground is analog ground. Okay? And here we have the digital ground. And as you can see, this symbol is for chassis ground. So this symbol is for the electrolytic capacitor or tantalum capacitor. Okay, basically the electrolytic capacitor is a polarized capacitor, as you can see. The electrolytic capacitor is a polarized capacitor. It has the plus and the minus sign. Okay? Here we have the inductor or the coil, as you can see. So this is its reference always in the motherboard you can find L or PL. Here we have a normal resistor. Basically, this is the universal resistor. Okay. Here we have a switch. This is basically a sample switch. We can call it the single pole, single true, or SPST. Okay. Single pole, single true switch. Okay. So single pole, single true, because it has just one pole and one true. Okay. There are many types of switch like single pole, single throw, single pole, double throw, double pole, double throw, and so on. As you can see here, for example, this is a single pole double throw. So here we have the opto isolator or optocoupler. So basically we find this kind of component in the switch mode power supply board or flyback power supply. So basically this is the symbol for the opto isolator or opto coupler. So it includes a diode or an LED diode and a phototransistor that receives the light. When the transistor receives the light, it will be activated. Okay? And then the signal will pass through the terminals of the opto coupler. Basically the opto coupler is used to control the output voltage and to adjust the output voltage. So here we have, as you can see, the symbol for the amplifier. Okay, this is basically an amplifier. Okay, as you can see. So basically, the amplifier contains always or usually two inputs. Okay, 
a positive input and a negative input and one output okay so basically this is a basic sample of the amplifier as you can see here as we have seen before this is a variable resistor and here we have the diode okay this is the symbol basically for the diode here we have the cathode okay the cathode refer to the negative terminal and the anode or the positive terminal okay so the diode lets the current pass in one direction from anode to cathode or from positive terminal to negative terminal and block the current in the other side here we have a transistor basically this is a simple transistor the transistor basically contain three terminals base collector and emitter okay so this is basically an NPN transistor why because as you can see we have this arrow is from base to emitter so this is NPN transistor so when the transistor receive the control signal from the base the signal will pass from collector to emitter okay so here we have a wires as you can see wire connection okay so this first symbol where we have this black dots means there is connection between all these wires as you can see the dot means connection okay as you can see but if you find like this symbol means there is no connection this is a non-connection wires okay non-connection wires here as you can see basically this is the potentiometer this is a potentiometer okay exactly the same working principle as a variable resistor okay this this arrow here means you can adjust the resistor we called it a potentiometer resistor okay as you can see in the image so this is the triac as you can see this these two diodes as you can see means the triac here as you can see this symbol is for the relay basically this is a relay the relay contain a switch and a coil okay so basically here we have this is the coil as you can see here exactly like this one the coil or inductor and over here we have the spdt switch or a single pole double through as you can see we have single pole double through switch okay so basically this is a relay so when the inductor receives the voltage in its terminals the switch will be energized from one position to another position so this is a single pole double through switch because we have one pole and two through in the switch as you can see when the inductor receive let's assume that for example if the inductor receive 12 volts okay if it received 12 volt or 24 volt from its terminals the current will pass through the inductor and then an electromagnetic will be created and then the switch will be energized okay from one position to another position so here basically this is a symbol for the fuse of course the fuse has many other symbols but this is basically the general symbol for fuse the fuse is used in protection purposes here we have the transformer okay we have two inductors means this is a transformer okay so in the transformer you can find of course an iron transformer as you can see inductors with iron between inductors okay so basically the transformer contain a primary winding and a secondary winding so basically this is the transformer here basically we have as you can see an electrolytic capacitor or a polarized capacitor exactly like this one okay so this kind of capacitor always you should pay attention to the polarity if you want to solder it or to install it to any motherboard you should pay attention to the polarity here we have basically a diode this is the symbol for the diode as we have seen before so the diode has 
do anode and do cathode okay and here we have a resistor as you can see the reference for the resistor is r r means resistor 